I got it. I just got to click up here. Start, right? That's his seat. Hi. Morning. Okay, we're all here. Welcome. Give me a second. Who wants to guess what we're going to do first? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, I got it. So good morning and welcome. We have a special, special guest today. My teacher and guru is here. It's not you, Herb. No, it is. It's Herb. It's Herb. It's Herb Podell. Back from the wars of life. And he's doing great. So we're going to... Uh, listen to him a little bit and see what we can learn from a young man. Um, and we're going to practice a little bit because what I'm teaching here, we can give it a lot of different names. I've tried over the years. I still can't figure it out what to call it, but we're going to practice a little mindful awareness. And we have to practice to train our minds our hearts to deal with life. And today we're going to talk about some of the aspects of life that we're all familiar with. Impermanence. Things change at the drop of the hat. Illness is like that too, all of a sudden. I just heard coming here, not a big deal. I was on the, on the radio. Bruce Springsteen had to cancel all of his concerts because he's got a peptic ulcer. Who knew? Even Bruce Springsteen needs to take a break because he does five-hour uh, 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 concerts all the time. So we need to practice, train our minds and train our hearts. The second part of what this class is about is the teachings, is the philosophy or the principles, practices that we all live and that we have to hopefully apply in our life. That's the challenge. So first, let's meditate, then we'll get on to the big star and explore. So let's we're going to do it simple and brief. doesn't require a whole lot of time and energy necessarily. You can just have to focus with how many intentions, Herb? Try to cheat. We're going to, we're going to get to that. He keeps it close to his heart, right? We're going to touch it. Okay. Would you close the door in the back, please, just in case? We have a nice cool. Okay. So we're going to close our eyes and come into the present moment to be here now. Right now, right here, by tuning into the breath. This breathing, this awareness of breath is the heart and soul of every meditative practice, every spiritual practice, is to stop, take a breath, and to tune in to your own mind, your own body, your own heart, and to come into the present moment where life is happening. And we have those intentions to see things fresh, as if for the first time. To not judge what's there, to welcome it as a guest house, as being human, as we age. It's a guest house. Oh, this morning it's my knee, and yesterday it was my back, and tomorrow it's this. It's always going to be something. Welcome it as best you can. With patience, trust, with acceptance, with letting it be. We can do things with it, do things about it but let's do it with a loving energy, with a compassion energy. So let's observe the breath, scan the body, come into the moment, and like you're taking your puppy dog for a walk. This is to train the mind to come into the now. Gently. We're training because the mind wanders. 
the yesterday, what's later, what's tomorrow, what's the just let all of that be there. We don't have to fight it. We don't push anything away. We don't hold anything. We just let things come and go. So tune into the breath. We're going to sit quietly just for a moment or two, and then we'll go do some of the other practices of compassion and gratitude. Begin to train our minds and train our hearts how we choose to respond to life. Ring the bell to denote the period of silence. Just a few moments. Inhale and exhale. Practice is simple. When the mind wanders, you just return to the breath at the nostrils or the chest and have them in rising and falling on every breath. Just reflect for a moment the experience of being in the moment, in the now. 
with the intention and the awareness of there's nowhere to go and there's nothing to do and there's nothing you have to make happen. And no one you're trying to become. You can just let go and let be right here, right now. And find peace. Find peace in the moment. Peace in the storm of life. You know, life is always there, always happening, the ups and downs. And, and the good news is that the peace is always there, too. To stay calm in the storm. Find serenity, find peace in the midst of it all. We practice a few moments of mindfulness and the intentions, remind ourselves to stay in the moment, to be here now, to welcome what's there, find peace in the storm. And we'll shift awareness to practice a little compassion, a little kind of kindness. So there's always some challenge that we're facing in our lives, in our bodies. Pain, aches, issues, diagnoses, fears about life and health. There's always some challenges in our minds and in our hearts and in our lives and relationships. Just what life is, what it brings. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's difficult. So in those moments and with those issues, it's it's can be supportive to welcome that too and to breathe that in. And to breathe out compassion for yourself, kindness. Not judgment, not blame. As much as we don't want it, we want to get rid of it, not push it away. Breathe it into our heart. And breathe out compassion. That same emotion, same way of being when we're with a loved one or people who are struggling or in pain or suffering, where we just offer our hearts to connect with them. So it's a way of connecting with ourselves. So you bring awareness to that issue, whatever the difficulty may be in the moment in your life, and you just acknowledge it. This is hard. This is painful. I'm hurting. Whether it's mind or body or emotions or life, this is difficult for me. Just to name it. And then just acknowledging, you know, it's part of being human. Yeah, it hurts, but I'm not alone. This is not just happening to me. This is this is part of life. This is what happens in life. Sadly, I'm not alone. So compassion for others and then compassion for yourself. So when you acknowledge this is a challenge and this is a difficulty or a pain and you want to breathe it in and breathe out compassion and, and acknowledge it's part of life, then you just Tell yourself, I'm going to be kind to myself. I'm going to give myself the compassion that I need. And so for a part of you that's hurting, you know, you can also just put your hands on your heart just to acknowledge that you're caring about yourself, about being kind to yourself, about having compassion for your own struggles. This is not feeling sorry for yourself or getting lost in it. It's just acknowledging the hardness of it and, and bringing some kindness and compassion to yourself. May I be kind to myself. May I care about my own struggles in a, in a loving way. And it's also a way of connecting to ourselves, but it's connecting to others, to some of those essential aspects of life, that things change. Things are impermanent. 
and there's inherent struggle and suffering and difficult in life. If you have a body, it's going to give you aches and pains and illness. If you have a mind, you're going to get worried and anxious and a heart will get broken. Sadness and grief. And we can learn to bring an awareness and a compassionate heart. So we had some mindfulness, we have some compassion, and let's just end with some gratitude practice. These, these practices are being researched and studied now over many years on its positive effects on health and the mind and body and healing to integrate with whatever else you're doing, whatever doctors, whatever treatments, bring some awareness, some compassion, and some kindness and gratitude. So focus on maybe three things you can be grateful for in this moment, right here now. Practice a little gratitude to be thankful for the blessings, some of the goodness in your life. Even in the midst of a difficulty, of a challenge, we can always find some gratitude. So spend a moment reflecting on the blessings in your life and the gratitude. These practices, you can train your mind and heart any time of day, anywhere, just to stop. Take a moment, breathe, tune in, bring awareness, make some compassion, bring some gratitude. It's nice to practice a little bit every day. So, now we have the honor and have our special. And uh, his name is Herb Podell. And I've been blessed to have him as a friend and student of mine for many, many years. And he, uh, I appreciate uh, the connection we have because, you know, he's maybe not the only student, but he's one of the main students that actually listens to what I'm saying. I'm joking. And he carries around his sheet, his seven intention sheet for years. It's all in a little thing. And it's always in his pocket uh, as a reminder to do that. So, uh, Herb, I won't say another word. I just want to give you the floor to share. I know you've been going through a challenging time. He's been going through a very difficult time. Um, and I've been impressed with what he's teaching me and how he deals with that. Just as we've shared last week, the challenges of the changes that come through with life. Um, and um, so Herb, anything you wanna share or say about whatever, or you want me to ask you some questions, how would you like to proceed? Uh, make a few comments. Um... Can I put this in here for people to hear you? Uh, this part is being recorded. I'm not so certain that my comments are so profound. Ah. At least for me, they're, they're profound. <laughs> I'm very impressed and grateful that you give me that honor. Uh, but actually, I have been attending Paul's classes far back as my limited memory will carry. 
<laughs> and, and and there's a rational there's a rationality for it because I need reinforcement. <laughs> it's very easy, you know, with with, with a, a, a lifetime of, of of a mode that we all live with live with uh, uh, habits that we've acquired, uh, things things that we carry through life to focus on how the world impacts on us and how we react, how we feel like a reed in the wind, more or less. And, and I, I find that I it's very easy to slip back when when crises arise and it's, uh, slip back almost by habit or old modes. And uh, qu quite candidly, Paul, you, you, you've been my guru <laughs> because uh, somehow or other, uh, you, you, uh, the, the, uh, that what you say and do and express creeps in, fortunately. You all know it. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. And, and, and the, the the reason I carry the seven intentions in my pocket, it's getting a little threadbare, it, it, it is because uh, it, it, it gives me a venue to look back and say, hey, it's, you know, they're, they're also in the to to the problem. In my own particular situation, I, I, um, I've been living at the Soviet Talk and uh, I, I felt comfortable because it's an, not only a nice place to live, but my own personal assets were such that I could carry on forever. And I was pleasantly surprised to to uh, to ascertain that here I am, I'm 96, and I'm still functioning. And I'm so uh, I so so my ego carries me to the point where. See, I feel great at ninety six. Maybe I'll live a, live you know somewhat longer. But uh, what happened uh, is that I, I I a few weeks ago I had developed a little medical problem of very not one of great consequence, but more or more, more, more that that was really something that had to be taken care of, uh, and so I wound up in Norwalk Hospital, and. Uh, the, the 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 cure uh, before I was released took some time, about nine days, uh, and during that nine day period, Cheryl, who I have been living with for the last thirty five years, and unfortunately had been slipping downhill in terms of her uh, cognitive abilities, her memory. Uh, I found in more recent years that. I had a dual role, not only taking care of me, but taking care of her. Uh, th that it, that uh, in my absence, th that she uh, was at loose ends and she was sitting in a chair uh, and apparently not taking care of herself. Uh, in a, the room got dark, I was told. She, she needed looking after. And uh, in, in the extremist, she called her children who lived California, Maryland, and uh, while I was still in the hospital, without knowing what was happening, they they came uh, and they uh, and they uh, scooped her up. And currently, if if I want to speak or contact Cheryl, she's in California. Uh, and, and so this this was not a process. Uh, this was a happening. Uh, so when when I came back. Uh, all of a sudden, all this was in process, uh, and then and then my own children, one of whom lives in Westport, uh, said, "Hey, Daddy, oh, you, you're 98. We we hate to see you living alone. Uh, we're going to scoop you up, and without even having much of a role in any of this, uh, uh, they they made arrangements that I will relocate to a place." Called uh, in Westport, uh, the uh, residents of Westport, uh, and um, and uh, now there's 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 there, there, my my first reaction was was hey, sort of feeling insecure, notwithstanding because my own, my own assets were such that I could continue forever where I am, but that they, they said no, we 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 don't want you to. Uh, we don't want you, in case anything ever happens, to be by your lonesome. Uh, so therefore, we, we're going to make that change. And I said to them, hey, you know, th this place is such that if I live uh, 
for a reasonable length of time. Uh, you, you're going to deprecate my, my my assets, which makes everybody feel good that you, you know, that you that you're comfortable with with, with what tomorrow brings. Uh, they said no. Uh, over my protest, if if you ever ran down, we'll take care of it, which which I was hard to believe. And well, from a personal point of view, it it it, it, it kind of changes all all of my years. I've always been taking care of myself, taking care of others, uh, and it put it 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 really is a, a metamorphosis to a a, a, a a different personal feeling. However, that's what's happened. However, rather than fall apart, all oh, thank you, seven intentions, thank you, and, and, and number number one, I'm I'm looking at this as I talk to you, um, is acceptance. That was the you know, and, and I so I, I said to my, you know, I get that feeling. Am I fighting this? I'm fighting it. Maybe I won't listen. Maybe I'll do this. But it happened. It happened without choice, really. The whole the whole thing happened without choice. It's there. It happened. I, 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 there's, there's, there's no point to feeling all that angst, all that anxiety. It's there. I, I'm, I'll go with the flow. Um, and, and so, really, if, if you if you tie that in with letting go. So th that's part of it. I, I've been working on letting go of all that I knew uh, that, that interface with, with the change in my lifestyle. Let it go and, and, and let, let, let it go. And, uh, tomorrow is another day. You've heard that from Scarlett O'Hara as, as Red Butler walked out. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> tomorrow is another day. And, and so uh, the, 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 that itself, you know, it's all part of this whole sequence of, of events. And of course, uh, when you meet, for all of us, I guess, when you meet life's challenges, whether it's a momentary conversation with somebody or long term, it, it's hard, it's hard, it, it's hard, but it's a practice of stopping instead of responding instantly, which I have always tended to do, stop, t t t take a deep breath, think for a moment before you respond. That's almost magic. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> and and, the, and under those circumstances, what, what, what comes out you know, may be quite different because than your, your first instinct because then you, then you start to think beyond the, the, the immediate yes no the, the immediate uh, uh, anxiety that you may feel uh, and of course um but beyond all of this is trust uh, trust uh, trust in yourself trust in the future uh, trust that uh, that that with a positive outlook with with a positive approach, uh, you'll 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 be able to not not not, uh, not be that reed in the wind that that, that blows uh, good hot and cold, uh, but perhaps um, with, with, with a uh, with a with a more overview with a more positive overview of uh, meeting life's challenges, uh, good, better, and different, whether they're long term or short term. Somehow or other, you 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 manage to do the best you can. Sometimes your best is not good enough, you know, and you get pushed down. And that's been my own life has been. A, at ninety eight, I've had a lot of strong positive experiences and a lot of downturns also. But somehow or other, just I've been able to somehow or other bounce or bounce back, and and I I think. That, that that aspect, uh, I have to thank Paul again for for the ability to not have an instant uh, overview of where I am, but maybe a, a more profound and long term view, and, and feel a, a little that that I have my, 
that have my own walls around me, that they're able to withstand the uh, vicissitudes of life. Uh, and here I, here I am. What What's happening to, to me at this point really is, is a perfect example. I came back from the hospital. The world changed. I came back from the hospital, and all of a sudden, no one asked me. Uh, I came back from that. All of a sudden, Sherry is on her way to California. Uh, my, my kids are saying, we, we're gonna get, we, we don't want you to be by yourself at this age. And, and they're moving me to another place, which happens to be about five minutes from where my daughter lives. God bless her. You know, uh, I, I, you know the, 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 I, I feel, gratitude would, would be a, a, a very a, a modest term to, to express my feelings to my kids. That You know, so, so you, you all witness in some families that, that the, the, the that the, the, the kids have a different view uh, of, 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 of the situation. Sometimes it's very positive and sometimes they can't wait for the parents to die so they can get the money. But they're not taking that attitude. I mean, I recognize it. Uh, they, you know, they, they, they're, they're, they're visiting me every day to help me pack up, get, to get relocated, uh, to, to find a, 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 a new life. And, and frankly, uh, it, it, it's, it's so positive because uh, in, um, it, I, I'm, I'm grateful. I am very grateful for the fact that that my head still lets me function, uh, that, uh, that I love activity, that I love learning, that, that I appreciate the fact that we have this senior center here, which offers so much, whether not just the food program, but, but, which makes life a little easier, but all the programs, exercise and courses and learning, which uh, stimulate and, and, and we're able to keep one's mind active and learning. And hopefully I'll be able to maintain that mode uh, until such time as I, you know, as, as I move on. So thank thank you all for listening to my tale, my personal life, and and uh, and, uh, and again the uh, the the, uh, the overarching uh, approach really I I have borrowed from Paul, and that's why I, I keep coming to this class. I think I'm the last survivor from all the years that I, I've been attending his class because. Uh, it, well, if, if hopefully you're not like me, you're a slow learner, and you go back to your old ways very quickly. But uh, it, 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 we're, we're blessed because here we are. The, the only thing you have to do is show up, and 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 the and the and the impact uh, it can really make make your life a pleasant one, and one with with an outlook uh, that that is supportive and. and help. And helps you hopefully go from one day to another with a smile on your face. And if, it, if it's not a smile, it, 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 it isn't all down. So thank you again to everybody for listening. And thank you again, Paul. I heard thank you for sharing that. Uh, I'm just saying a couple of things. Say thanks. Um, I, I have two reactions. Number one is the Yeah, I just in case. First and foremost, um, and um, it's it's a joy to hear hear that. And um, uh, as I shared with you, I how do you not learn from that? What what, what am I going to say? When you have someone who has a life and applies that, it's a blessing just to hear that, to know that, and to be here to, for you to share that, which is healing. Because uh, it's pretty traumatic. I know, Herb, what happened. I Visiting him in the hospital, I didn't know what he said either. Nobody knew uh, on that level. And uh, so, Herb, how you doing? You want to do it? He goes, get me out of here. I want life. I want life experiences. I want to live. I want to go. I want to, I want to come and I want to go, is, uh, is what we were talking about. And uh, he comes home to 
Yeah, and no no choice. And he's handled it with with grace. And and there's a lot of sadness there, I'm imagining, and grieving that has to happen and hurt, but he processed it and saw some of the reality and the acceptance. Not easy at all. I know just hearing that I was, you know, being your friend, you know, kind of shocked. Oh my God. That's a lot at one time. She's gone and you're gone. And you have nothing to say about it. And you still you're still here. He's got it all up here still. So thank you for sharing that and for teaching me. And you know, you teach what you need to learn. So so those seven intentions are important for all of us. And they really form that basis to find peace. What what I heard most, which was um heartfelt for me was that he's okay. He's been through this big trauma and somehow he sees it, he's getting through it, he's processing it and he's at peace and he's and he's ready to go. So yesterday I wanted to invite him to go to a, a play at the New Canaan uh, Town Players. They have uh, the fantastic. He's busy working on his papers and his books. He can't and call me another time. He's too busy. And every time I called him to say hi, he had to get off his apartment. But that's how much people love you and appreciate you. And um, uh, thank you for sharing what you shared. I learned a lot from it. And you know, and the, you can't have a better teaching than that. So enough from me. Um, share whatever you'd like. And, you know, part of this, I'll, I'll say one last thing that, that, um, maybe uh, supportive. When I was in Israel for a number of years and I had a center for mind-body medicine, we had a a program one weekend with Joanna Macy, who was a head of the Buddhist Peace Fellowship. And if you don't know Israel, they're always talking about trying to find peace somehow between all the sizes, between Israelis and Israelis and Shin Arabs and Arabs and the whole, you know, you know the story. Um, so this particular weekend, was um, the opportunity for people who were in the field, sort of on the front lines, I'm not on the front lines, but teachers and healers and people wanting to make peace and uh, rabbinical people and political people and education people and psychology people. It was about 100 people gathering uh, at this place in Jerusalem. And the whole weekend, whole weekend, and this is in the context of what Herb just shared. The whole weekend was people just, you could choose to go in the middle of the circle and speak your truth and tell them what pain you have about life. And the, the theory was that you as a wounded healer or a person, if you could share your pain and truth and people listened, uh, that would help you and everybody go out into the world and do whatever you're doing to try to make the world a better place. And all we did when the person went into the middle to speak, like giving Herb the microphone and letting him speak and say what he wants to say. I, you know, And then when you're finished, we say, we hear you. So we we're all listening to Herb, and we, but we heard you. We were saying to Herb, so Herb, I want to say to you, we hear you. That's Phil at Phyllis. That was from everybody. That's okay. So the point there is, we heard you, her. You're not alone. We know what you went through was tough. And thanks for sharing your story and your experience with us. And a lot of medicine is just, we hear you. So I want to put that in. When you say whatever you want to say, but part of it is to share what, what your struggles with and you know, sometimes we have answers and we have a magic pill and we have a treatment that will work and we go to the right doctor and it gets better and we do. And sometimes it's just life and we don't have the answer. It's, 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 it's just the suffering of life. And the answer to that is to share your pain and to bring seven intentions and compassion and gratitude to the circumstance and have people around who say, we hear you. So whatever you want to share, as we listen, we all want to fix it and cure it and take away your pain. But the 
maybe the best thing we can do is just say we hear you. Like when, when Susan shares about her struggles that she went through, which you can see. A lot of us have the same inner struggles that you can't see always. But it's the same, it's the same challenge that everybody has. So I just wanted to throw that out of listening to each other and we say so do me a favor, uh, request before anybody speaks and shares what they'd like to share about anything, about what her said, about the lessons, about the attentions, about anything. Uh, in unison, I'd like everybody to just say, Herb, we hear you. Okay, one, two, three. Herb, we hear you. I hear you. And we're with you, with, with compassion. Okay, the floor's open to whomever wants to say anything about whatever. So thank you. Good. Thank you, Phyllis. Quite the young man, huh? Thank you. We'll see you. How's Marge? Got it. All right. We'll see you next time. Herbie. And then you're living with something you can't. And then you're living as a What are the causes? I don't know about the expression. I can't now. I just can't. I think I'm happy to have that in the back. I think it's. The nothing would have been. They dance. Well, they did. They had. Well, I was there. My, I, I would go in every day, but then his daughter came. We saw how much we needed. Yeah. 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 Okay, so he's got a or whatever. But, but he's got it up here and here. Yeah. Yes. You got it. I have to kiss this young lady. There, by the guard. Thank you for coming. Oh, You're an inspiration. You're an inspiration. But, uh, meditate while the box is. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you for caring. I think he'll be okay there. I, I agree with what you're saying. I, I suggested that to him too. Yes. Well, that's part of the challenge. 
I want you to listen to this. Uh, if you can, right? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do it for you. I don't want to be able to hurt you. 